guys, welcome back to Herbs and Chelsea. It's Jeanne again. I'm talking about the Chelsea ladies. So we're playing tomorrow against Sunderland, first away game and second game of the season. Um, I'm really thinking positively, uh, obviously, because we won 6-0 against Bristol last Sunday. Good performance from the team, clean sheet, good start for the new signings, Ericsson and uh, Therese the team. So yeah, we're playing Sunderland away. Um, second game of the season, as I say, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, they have the home advantage playing in front of the fans. Um, it's the first game in the new stadium, so it's a bit like us last Sunday in uh, Kings Meadow. So I think they're going to receive a good support. But um, if we play as we did last weekend, I think we can get the three points. So Sunderland played Reading um, <clears throat> last weekend uh, away, so they won one nil. A really tough game, uh, but I think they've got a solid squad. They have many new players and they did a good pre-season. I mean, the last game we played against Sunderland, we won 7-0. So obviously we can say that it's gonna be easy, uh, but I think they showed. So yeah, on a high from uh, last weekend's 6-0 victory against Bristol, um, I think Chelsea are going into most game positively for a consecutive win. I think that Emma Hayes, uh, the manager, is gonna play with the same players. We didn't play with um, me, Bright, Rafferty, Aluko. Well, she came on, uh, at the end of the game. It was a different lineup from last season and I was really happy with it. Maybe she's going to put Millie Bright back in the squad, but I think the players that played last weekend did really good, so we're going to get the three points. So it's a whole seven kickoff tomorrow in Sunderland. I hope that the away fans are going to enjoy the game. So don't forget to subscribe to Herbs and Chelsea and you can leave your thoughts down in the comments. And uh, yeah, come on Chelsea. Au revoir. Ha <laughs> ha!